Hey, Mr. Scribble here. So we are going to be going over Go Math 4th grade lesson 2.7. And 2.7 is really going to focus on um, multiplying using partial products. So as we go through today's lesson, it kind of builds off of yesterday. We're going to be multiplying. We're going to be breaking up um, the larger factor by place value. Um, so I'm... I really do like this lesson. We're going to also touch on estimating to review that too. Um, so in your book, we start off with um, unlocking this problem. And it looks really overwhelming. But they're really just um, repeating a couple of basic steps. So we're going to do 6 times 182. And I'm going to do this in a, on a blank piece of paper. So you write down 6 times 182. We're going, since we're looking at this with partial products, we're going to look at it as 100, we're going to look at it as an 80, and we're going to look at it as a 2. Um, one thing that you're going to see often, though, with this is, um, in this lesson, they ask us, they ask us to estimate first. Um, so it's going to be 6 times we're going to estimate this 182. Um, and I know that it's closer to 200 than 100. So 6 times 200, remember 6 times 2, is 1,200. So my answer, my final product should be about 1,200 or about 1,200. All right. So now we're going to um, set up our problem. So we're going to look at it as 182. We're going to do six times, and we're going to make rectangle at least the best that we can, right? And I just kind of separate them out. And even though um, they're not like equal sizes like they should be, ish, this will be good enough. Um, and I can see my ones place, my tens place, my hundreds place. Now I'm just going to multiply six times one hundred. 600. 6 times 80 is 48 tens. Right? Because 6 times 8 is 48 and they move to 0. And then 6 times 2 is 12. Well, now I just need to add all these together. 600, 480, and 12. I add them together. Notice my place values lined up. 2, 9, 6 plus 4 is 10. All right. Well, kind of close. 1,200, 1,092. It's in the same ballpark. I'm happy with that. So this is how you solve multiplication with partial products. Um, and let's take a look at another problem. Um, let's take a look at um, number three here. So it says 471 times 4. Let me just snip this over. And here in this problem, you know it's that there's a little bit of a blank. Sorry, it's a little blurry. So right away it says to estimate to estimate so it's gonna be four times i would say 500 right four times five is 20. move my two zeros to be 2000 or 20 hundred all right so now we're going to estimate and you notice with this i'm not i could draw um that same the same box here but i'm going to show you a little bit of a different way and it may make sense for some of you so we're going to start with this 4, and we're going to go to the hundreds. So 4 times 400. 4 times 400 is 1,600. Now we go 4 times 70. 4 times 70 is 28 with a 0, so 28 tens. Then I do 4 times 1. And, I, and now it's all set up so I can just add. 
Now, this way is, um, makes sense for some of us, but some of us really do like um, making that place value dry. And I'll show you how to do that also. Okay? So, with this problem, I would have 400, 70, and 1. I'm going to mark it's going to be four times. Separate out. 4 times 4 is 16. Move the two zeros. Right? 4 times 7. 4 times 70 is 28 tens. And then 4 times 1 is just 4. So there's my numbers again. See how I did 4 times 400? Equals 1600. 4 times 7 tens is 28 tens. 4 times 1 is 4. We just add these numbers again together and we get um, our final product of 1,884. So either one of these methods is really good to be doing partial products. Let's take a look at um, a couple of our um, PMTs, a couple of our digital homework examples. Um, and it says enter the product. He's expanded. Whoops, I'm on the wrong one. See, it's 2.6. My fault. But we can take a look at your paper homework. Okay? So let's take a look at that paper homework, and it's right here. And it's multiply using partial products. So the first thing is that you would round, right? So set, our problem is 7 times 332. Well, estimated that's 7 times 300. And so our final product should be about 2,100 or about 2,100. Now, they broke it up here with a whole bunch of different steps, but we can notice, we notice that um, things are bold here. Um, so we're going to do... Multiply 300 times 7, or 7 times 300. And you can see how they do that here. And that's 2,100. Then they multiply 3 times, or 30, times 7. That gives us 210. And then they multiply the 1's place. So 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, And then we have to add all those products up together to get our final product. Yeah, and that's pretty close to our estimate, so I would say that it's a reasonable um, reasonable answer. Let's take a look at um, these a couple of these problems down here. So number two, we have to estimate first. 156, I would say is closer to 200. So I would do 4 times 200. That is 800. So my answer should be around 800. That would be reasonable, right? Um, I'm going to show you the partial product way, um, and then I'll show you the, the picture model that shows the same thing. So we're going to do 100 times 4, or 4 times 100. 4 times 100 is 400. Now we're going to multiply in the tenths place. 5 tenths times 4, or 4 times 5 tenths, 4 times 50. Or 4 times 5 is 20 times, I hold the spot. Now I'm going to multiply in the ones place. 6 times 4 is 24. 4. Now I just add. And I get 624. Well, that's close enough to 800. My answer is probably reasonable. Um, so to solve this problem, that's, this is how you do it. Um, look by place value, you start at the highest place value. Um, what this looks like as a picture would be this. So 100, 50, 6. Remember that expanded form? Um, and we put our rectangle in here, and we separate it out by place value. And I know that these aren't representative exactly of the size they should be, but that's okay. 
four times 100 is 400. See it? I only do four times five tens or four times 50, and that would give me 20 tens. Then I do four times six is 24. So 400 plus 200 plus 24, 400 plus 200 plus 24 gives me a final product of 624. A couple of mistakes that kids make is they uh, don't line up the place value, or they struggle with just their basic facts of what what is four times five. Um, the other area that we that most kids struggle with is in this tens place. I'm um, doing four times five tens is twenty tens. Lots of times they'll only write twenty. They forget they'll forget to move that uh, zero in that ones place. Um, so overall, we are multiplying using partial products. I do like this way. Um, it's different than how I learned it, but it does make a lot of sense when I think about place values. Let me know if you have any questions.